Hey everybody, welcome back to some more awesome unboxing videos. Today is another Blu-ray unboxing and it is House of Cards Season 3. Again, another item that I've acquired from Poundland for my Pound uh, Poundland pickup videos. Um, this is brand new and sealed. I also went to Kex to see what would they be the trading value or how much would they sell it. They sold it for exactly the same price but it was pre-owned. So to be fair, getting it brand new for the same value is astonishing. Which is really good actually. But unfortunately trading in you would only get the trade back value which was 50p. So I uh, would be losing money. So... I thought, why not? I keep it. I bought this just for the intention of the um, pickup video, but also I can get like an unbox video of it. And if you just look at the front here, we notice two things, not the panel line. We notice that it has this nice little slip as in. That has some promo on there, like um, some review stamps. So we have Brilliant from the Daily Mirror and So Damn Good from The Guardian. It also has a Blu-ray and digital HD ultraviolet which is included inside. I'm not quite sure if you can still redeem this though because I've noticed that streaming sites like these have been taken down, which is unfortunate. And you have to rely on Pro uh, Amazon Prime or Netflix or Disney Plus and it's just so annoying. It's convenient when you can buy a DVD and it has the ultraviolet saving you buying it twice because it just, makes it so much more better for you going away and don't have to worry about bringing the DVD. You have it all backed up through your ultraviolet. So I don't know if they're still keeping it going or if it all discontinue now, but um, it's quite a shame really. I really hate relying on Prime and all that because it's just so ridiculous. I have to buy the movie twice and I don't want to do that. All right, on the back as well, if you just exclude how to stream and download it, it's pretty simple, <laughs> really. You just use it on your smart TV, computer, your phone, or your tablet, or any portable device. And then we have the bio description. Season three was Emmy Award winning original uh, thriller series stars Golden Globe winner Kevin Spacey as ruthless cunning President Francis Underwood who will stop at nothing to conquer the halls of power in Washington DC. His secret weapon, his gorgeous ambitious and equally conniving wife uh, Claire, Golden Globe winner uh, Robin Wright. And I love how it always says, not for sale or resale. They have to do this on every single DVD or Blu-ray now because you can't really rent out physical media. It's all done digitally online or just by buying it brand new. There's no renting anymore. It's just not a thing. You can rent on Prime, but back in the day when you wanted to take home the actual DVD to watch it, you just couldn't do that no more. You had to pay for it, so... That sucked. Let's just tear into this one. This has the, the nice material where you don't need a pair of scissors, but it's nice to have one beside you just in case. Oh god, I'm gonna pull off that. There we go. Alright. Wow. Wait, is this a backboard? Wait, what the hell is this? I've seen these, but I just never really understood it. So it's not a backboard, it's like a little sleeve bit. And you reveal, and if you take it off, it reveals uh, volume three and it says the chapters. So this is the complete third season, but it's called volume three. It's very confusing. Is it season or is it volume? Make up your mind. But these flaps are so goddamn awful. Why are they there? <laughs> like, what? Mate, that, that's something else. Like, that is. Don't get me wrong, that looks sick when it's sealed, but when the, once the cover's off, it's just flimmy like a door hinge. Why are you there? But this is quite nice. You open it up and it's like a book. You have pictures on either side, and then you open up again, more pictures, and then you open up again, more pictures and then you have the ultraviolet which again will be blurred <laughs> so you guys don't see what it is and then we get promo yeah promo good old promo and then it tells you what each of the discs are so disc one will have chapters 27 to 29 and there is nice little sleeve where you pull out now sometimes these are good and sometimes they're bad but fuck me get out of there Oh, 
Okay, it's not all strength, you just have to take your time and slide it out of there. But that's disc one, everybody. Disc two. Voila, I have this chapters 30 to 32. And then disc three is chapters 33 to 36. Which, again, you just pull out nice and gently. And then disc four, which is, or well, getting back in is a struggle as well. Oh, God. No. Oh, God, that's way too far. Ah, screw it, that's fine. Then we have chap disc four, which is chapters 37 to 39. Now, I understand people like these new ways of doing box sets, but other than making it look good, the purpose of this story in your disc is so that you never have to watch them. I'm sorry, but if I had this, I'd be ripping the box just getting them out each time. I just don't see the point on having this design. Don't get me wrong, it's good and all, and it keeps it all compact into one where we have this big stack. But at the same time, you're just limiting your values. Like, are you someone who wants to collect this and keep it preserved? And also watch it, because that's never going to happen. You'll, whether you've got big hands like mine, or you will fuck up one day where you're tipsy as hell. And you'll rip it, and then you'll just be fucked. Obviously it's a pound, but still, the value of it might go up, or it might just be harder to find later on. So for this, as a collection, I just really wouldn't watch it. I would just have it to admire. I just really wouldn't want to risk taking the discs out, because you saw me struggle getting them out. And that's just not me messing about. That's just like general. That design was stupid. I remember when I did my Arrow um, box set unboxing of season one to four. Those had really good designs on how you properly do DVDs, like how you get them in and out. But this one was a stupid design which failed miserably. Like this could be the future of how DVDs are placed better than those stupid little cap holes. But the way they go now with that, no. No, that's just annoying. But yes, that is House of Cards to complete season three. I do hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, however, please share your support by liking the video, subscribing to my channel, and turn on post notifications by ticking that bell to keep my update when I post new and exciting videos each week. And I'll see you next time. But until then, take care.